guys, what's up? Um, I got my, uh, sorry, I'm trying to talk to this thing. I was, uh, preparing for today's video. Let me just slip into something a little more comfortable. That's right, guys. Spend even more money. Banging merch, by the way. How do I look? <laughs> okay, joke's over. Let me get back to my real clothes. All right, let's get back to this video. Whew. I bought a book. It's called Charlie D'Amelio's Manifesto. Actually, it's called Essentially Charlie. And I'm gonna be honest, this is the worst book I've ever read in my entire life. This book requires less intelligence to comprehend than that book with those big worms and caterpillars in it that we all read when we were kids. So basically, this is the best book that's ever been written. Is that right? And I, I've got, I've got the uh, proof right here, guys. I've got the proof right here. The picture to word ratio is exactly what you'd expect as well. Comes in 10 parts. Childhood, friendship, fashion, growing up, social media, making the most of me, family, relationships, in the public eye, giving back and acknowledging. It's 11 parts, technically, but... 10 actual parts that matter, okay? And also, you might be saying, well, how has she already written her manifesto and she's only like nine and a half years old? I don't know. I'm like genuinely confused. If I have to make this clear, this video is all jokes and satire. You'll see why I had to make that clear here in a little bit. <laughs> he is a bad, bad man. It starts with her childhood, which is really, I don't really want to look at her childhood, to be honest. There's too many pictures of this little girl and I'm not going to show any pictures of her when she was a little girl. I have a feeling that these weren't necessarily meant for me being a 25 year old man. Okay, we can go right to part two, friendships. True friends are the ones you make, you feel like you can be completely yourself. Oh, groom alert. No! Damn, that must have been before. Shit, I already amended the book. Don't worry, Charlie. I hope people who read this book get to know me a little, who I really am, not just that girl on TikTok. Oh yeah, let's see exactly what Charlie D'Amelio is about, guys. Let's see how deep her personality go goes. My friends are all very different types of people, but I love them for how they make me feel. Operation 40, planet a double agent working with the Ascension. She's like, Kevin from The Office. Why use many word when few word do trick? I waste time, say lot word when few word do trick. This is an incredibly important tidbit of information that we all need to take into consideration, guys, right here. To my fellow shy people. That's me! I'm shy! Don't let what other people say have any effect on you. Well, that's it. The secret to life figured out. She also has these really interesting little like play along type bits in it and in, in the thing. Hardworking, supportive, passionate. What qualities do you love in your friends? None. I am my favorite person. It, what the f is this? There's also basically a picture of her on every single page too. I know it's literally called Charlie D'Amelio, but like you don't have to put a picture. Like some of these bits of wisdom can go on for more than just one page with this 14 point font. And also she like dances out the f page numbers. Oh, you'll get it, I guess. Energetic, entertaining. I'm fun to watch when I dance in public and genuine. What? No, I don't even need to read this. I could just say offensive things for like 15 minutes and then it would be the same video. If my friends had to use three words to describe me, they'd say, that's what that was all about. Energetic, entertaining, and genuine. That's four and also like nine more. That's 13 words. What three words would your friends use to describe you? Let's see. Let's actually take part in this. Angry, de depressive, anti-social. That's right, guys. Just doing some 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 introspective deep, deep dives with Charlie and me. Email it. Give me the me. Honestly, this probably was not even ghostwritten. Well, come to think of it, it probably was. If it was ghostwritten, that's uh very sad. That's already seven words. Only three more. Part three, fashion, guys. We're getting through this book so quickly. I love this. It's the begging section, my friends. Press the like button for no reason other than it makes my videos perform better. Also, caption this image should be eaten in the next one. Here's the image from the last one. Here's the best three captions. I like this one. Are you enjoying my book review yet? I'll review your book. I'll review, I'll review your book next. Like, jokes aside, guys, there's nothing at all being said in this book. Like, I grew up always wearing my dance clothes. Right now, when I'm not wearing leggings and a sweatshirt, I'm most comfortable in high-waisted jeans and crop tops, and I love all kinds of jackets. Someone tell me what he's saying! <laughs> all right! Oh! Okay! We don't care. How would I describe my style? 
Among Us drip. I got that drip. Shut the hell up, bitch. Who's this book for? Genuinely. Like, obviously, it's for her, like, little baby followers. But who, like, really, who's it for? You're really limiting your audience. At least write something interesting in it. But for growing up, a little oversaturated in that image. You need to work on your color grading, Charlie DeMillingen. Here we go. Here we go. Here we get some insight from a 16-year-old. I've changed in a few big ways as I've grown older. I've gained a lot of confidence. I've been able to do so many amazing things. I am fully realizing who I always was, but never got a chance to explore. Yes. If she's a child, why are you making fun of her? Bro, she has a she has a hundred million followers. I can say whatever I want. I have two million followers. And I've been losing hair and going gray for four years to get two million. Okay. I'm very bitter. Let's see how the book is going. Oh! I accidentally ripped it. Oh shit! Oh. oh whoops! Oh, there goes a whole chapter! I'm not sure when I want where I want to be in five years. I'll just let it happen. Oh really? That's surprising. A number four? I'd say in thinking about the future, just listen to what makes you happy. Bro, give me some advice to follow, not platitudes. Say something. So far, you're just making sounds. This book is in f***ing Simlish. Lotso, Simshi Wani do. It's okay to be different. Wow, I've never heard that before. Of everyone in the world, I always hold myself most accountable. This is a good page here. And it's all about her, guys. That's actually a good page. Hold yourself accountable. Take responsibility for your actions. You're responsible for almost everything you do unless you have blowout diarrhea in a public place. Don't get me started. All right, haven't been back to Trader Joe's. Here's an interesting bit of information. If I had a superpower, it would be to go back in time. Me too. Wait, stop. Who are you? I am you from the future. Do not go in there. I have to shit. I'd go back to 1996 and prevent myself from being born. No, I wouldn't do that. That'd be really awkward, wouldn't it? That'd be really weird. I'd just erase that part of the video. I'd go back to last week and and eat a sandwich. I'd go back and fix little embarrassing things I did. I would not have gotten clear braces. Ew, clear braces. <laughs> I would not have gotten glasses as thick as I did. Wow, two things that are incredibly vain and pointless. Here's part five, guys. Social media. All right, I am in... <laughs> Here's some tips for posting on social media, guys. I'm gonna take these and use these, and if I don't have a hundred million f followers by the end of the day, I'm gonna jump out this third story window, all right? See if I can fly. Be spontaneous, be comfortable. Good tip, actually. Just post what you like, not simply to gain a following, says the girl with a hundred million followers. Don't post anything that'll put other people down in the slightest. Yeah. <laughs> Cyberbullying! Eat my shorts, loser. Closer for personal expression, wear what makes you comfortable. Yeah, do that. Be yourself and have fun with it. Yeah, right. Good advice. Very excellent. Great advice. Yeah, don't always be dolling yourself up. Just post random photos. They'll do well. They'll do well. I made a diaper tier list and it did pretty poorly. And that was me being myself, all right? You just stumbled over a stone in the road. It means nothing. Your goal lies far beyond this, doesn't it? I'm sure you'll overcome this. You'll walk again. Soon. When's the family part, by the way? I want to see her mom. Her mom's really pretty and nice and funny in all, her, in all the videos and stuff. Her whole family's cool, honestly. So is she, but... Here's a video picture of them keeping it real, guys. Uh... Nothing out in the ordinary, just a family photo. Seems like a smudge or something on the on the father's face that's weird making dance videos is really fun but sometimes i just want to hit pause for self-care it's all about the simple stuff like ice cream a hot shower or a cup of coffee what if you're lactose intolerant mm. Good milk. your skin scalds easily and you have a horrible caffeine metabolism because that's literally me. I can't do any of those things, Charlie. Charlie, right, adding some useful information to this book. <gasps> I feel like she does 10 things and she wrote about, she wrote everything that has ever existed or will exist that has come out or gone into her brain. She wrote it down in this book, guys. We're already in part seven. This is the best book review ever. Smash like, please. That's weird. Huh, father's blurred out again. Weird.
Mom's looking pretty single. I'm not sure what type of family I want when I grow up. Kids, dogs, both. It's like, kids or dogs? Which one's more work? I'm a lot of work, so if I have a child like me, that's just, well, smiley face. I mean, I've grown as a person reading this book. I've learned to not let my children ever have phones, ever. Until they're 18 years old. They're only allowed to watch my videos. <laughs> There's a family photo again. What a happy looking family. My parents are big on letting me express myself in my own way. It's a nice family photo too. They just look like, so they're so happy, you know? Especially in that one. That one really gives me good vibes. I'm a good mix of my parents' traits. I didn't read that one before I put my head in there. I mean, I didn't do that. The book came like, no, it didn't. I'm grateful to have parents who are ready to support me no matter what I decide to do. Yes, your dad is especially very, no, I shouldn't say that, should I? Your stepdad. Hold on a second. Is especially very handsome. Relationships. I don't care. I don't care. I found the thing that I care the least about, honestly. Except for that page right there. That's me and her mom. More just random photos. Weird. When I became the first person to cross 50 million followers on TikTok, it was weird. Very weird. I was sleeping when it happened. Thank you for that information. Hi. Looking good. I can sing my ABCs backwards. Me too. Z G. Here's a specific word about me. A quick word on cyber bullies. Yep, that's me. Basically, she says, I don't give a f which is good. Bullying is frighteningly common on the internet. <laughs> and in real life, dude. When you're not like a, a, an attractive girl with a lot of internet clout, life tends to be fairly hard and intimidating. Oh my God, this, this literally is about to make me cry. This is so profound. It's about to make me cry, guys. This is the most profound part of the entire book. If I could just be granted one wish, it would be to all the kind people of the world would rise up to the top and spread their kindness widely. I believe in karma 100%. What did you do in your past life then? Free all the slaves? It's great that I have been given a platform to be a role model. Nah, not really. Yeah, like Kim Kardashian level type stuff here. Maybe she's really a genius though. That's the end of the book, guys. That's the end of the book. And look at this. She gave me a little, little thing. A little sticker. Smash like. So that's been my book review of Charlie D'Amelio's book. Um, it was pretty good, honestly. Pretty good. Um, I would have written it a little differently. There'd been more, uh, more pictures. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, press the subscribe button and hit the like if you really enjoyed. Go ahead and watch this video. Follow me on Twitter at Oakville. Follow me on Instagram at PapaOMC and catch me live on Twitch. Okay. Also, I have a candy company, Sour.GG. Check it out one day. His beats go crazy. Vlogs go crazy. Views going up, we getting paid, baby. He's the B-I-G-O-O-M-P-A. No info for the DMCA.